is Cathy here from the UK and today I thought I'd show you how I've made a start with some simple but quite effective Christmas cards. The scene I created here, I just used three Lavinia stamps from Dobello's Designs and some copy paper and some ink and I'll show you how I did it. I used a piece of multifarious card, four inches by six inches, and then I had some black matting card which is 4.25 by 6.25 inches and once folded I put it on a piece of card that will measure 5 inches by 7 inches. For the background I used Element, Element Ink Graphite and for the stamping I used Vesafine Claire Nocturne. I have two of these, I have one that I've labelled old so it's for second generation stamps so I don't waste my ink. I also needed a um, stencil brush so whatever tool you use for your Element Ink you'll need one of those. I have a few pens here. I've got a yellow watercolour pen, a Posca pen and a white gel pen. I've also got a black pencil. And the stamps that I used were the Lavinia 052 trees, the Lavinia small fairy tree, or I'm not sure if it's the fir tree, but it's LAV 022, and the Lavinia LAV 734 small pixie houses. So just those three sets. So to start, I tear a piece of copy paper to have like a, a bank of, I want a bank of snow, so it's on it's a bit hilly. That's fine. And I want to have it like so. Now, I'm using the very, very last drab pieces of my uh, graphite. It's it's really, really well used. So I'm not going to dab off. Normally I would suggest you dab gently and then dab off. I'm not going to dab off because there's really not very much on this at all. I'm just finishing it up today. And so I'm just going to work in circular motions. Normally this would be really, really black, but because it's, um, like I say, so well used, it's a nice misty colour, sort of grey, like a dark grey, but not too dark. So, I've got my first bank of snow there, and then using my torn paper, and do the next one, which I'm literally just going to be most of this. The paper ends there, so most of this is actually on the paper, not on the card. Oh, excuse me, things blowing around. I've got the window open because it's very hot and uh, it's a little bit windy out there. And I've got a bank of snow here. And then we'll do that one down here. We have to move that way. There it goes. Ah, there we go. That's the background. I've got various banks of snow there. And the first stamp. I've got my paper back in place. I'm just going to put that on there to hold it because it is a bit windy. And I'm going to be using the Lavinia trees. And I'm going to be using my older ink. I don't want it to be too dark. That's that one. And then just there. Now my piece of paper moved, it doesn't matter because I'm just getting my black pencil and just extend it to the end. And just put a little bit of shrubbery along the bottom there. That's it. So 
mix and go through some of the fir trees. Again, I'm using my older stamp, my older ink, sorry. I'm still going to stamp it off because it's, I want it to be really light look in the distance. Up on there. And I can have a third one, third generation one up there. ground them. Uh, those ones don't need much grounding because they're a bit lower down, a bit buried in the snow. There we go. And then next I'm going to do the little pixie houses. Start with a larger one. Put my head on that. I'm going to use my newer ink for this one. large ones. Then I'm going to do a mm, medium sized one. They're quite sweet these little houses and they do look a bit like a little village. Just going to get my brush and just a little bit more along here because it's a bit bare at the bottom I think. I'm just gonna there we go. Once that's a bit too much ink, so I'm actually gonna take a little bit of that ink off with the mono rubber. The mono rubber using a grey side. I'm gonna take that little extra bit off now. A little bit more than what I wanted. Right, next I'm going to use the uh, gel pen. I'm just going to dab it a bit first to get the white going. So, I'm just going to dab some random snow. Right, and with the yellow pen, I'm just going to colour in the windows. And 
and with my black pencil I'm just going to do a little bit of shading under each earth. Finish it off. I'm actually going to splatter a bit of Posca as well. And then I'm going to leave that to dry for a couple of minutes. Right, that's all nice and dry. So I'm now getting ready to stick it down. card. I also made a tag earlier with the same stamps so that if I give a card the gift I can use a gift tag to match it. I do hope you enjoyed that and thank you for watching. If you haven't already joined please consider joining our Facebook groups. We have two groups one called Del Bello's Designs Lounge which is for all things Lavinia and the other one is the Del Bello's Designs a la carte for all products that Patty sells in Del Bellows other than Lavinia products. So please join us there and share your work because I'd love to see it. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.